Right now at 4, Talk at 12 investigators tracking the latest numbers on the coronavirus pandemic in Rhode Island. Today we got our first update from the Department of Health since the middle of last week. And 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi has been going through the numbers this afternoon. He's joining us now for a closer look. And Ted, the big headline, it does look like Rhode Island is having some success in bringing case numbers down. Yeah, and Kim, let's take a look at one of the charts we have on our WPRI.com tracking page that shows that. Now, this goes all the way back to March 1st. The yellow line shows how many cases have been reported each day. The blue line shows you the seven-day average. So let's focus on that blue line, the average number of new cases. You can see the peak there. That was three weeks ago, December 7th, when the state was averaging over 1,300 new cases a day. That's come down by almost half to about 750 new cases a day. Though obviously still that's much higher than we'd seen before this current surge. Certainly though it's what the governor and her advisors were hoping to see when she ordered the pause in activity about a month ago now. And Ted, there's kind of two elements there we're tracking the rising case numbers, but also typically then there's also an increase in deaths in Rhode Island. Yeah, unfortunately, Brian, this is the pattern we see again and again in the pandemic, right? Cases rise first, then hospitalizations rise and then deaths rise. Here's the chart for the current number of COVID-19 deaths in Rhode Island going back to March 19th. You see a second wave here too. 25 people with the virus died on December 13th alone. That was the most ever in a single day. Right now, December is tracking as the second deadliest month of the pandemic in Rhode Island with 356 deaths so far. The only worse month than that was May, but of course, December isn't over yet, so that number could still rise. Mm. And Ted, what about hospitalizations? Yeah, this has been happening now periodically, Kim, where they don't release the hospitalization data uh, with the rest of the data in the early afternoon like they have. I was told just before coming on the air that any minute now they expect that hospitalization data to be posted to the state website. But so far, what we have been seeing is a decline in hospitalization. So they're still at quite a high level in Rhode Island from the peak earlier. So, so moving in the right direction, but still, uh, still plenty to be worried about for the healthcare providers. All right, we'll stay tuned for those numbers a little bit later today. Ted, thank you. And remember, we have a full page with all the COVID-19 tracking data that you need to see so you can watch for trends for yourself. You can log on to WPRI.com and just click on track cases.